Now, despite the lack of strong and unanimous evidence on the link between hair dye use and cancer, some people, especially those with a family history of bladder or similar types of cancers or cancer patients themselves may want to choose safer non-carcinogenic hair color alternatives. Again, although no strong link has been found between cancer and hair dye use, it would be safe to refrain from using the following hair dyes to minimize the risk of cancer progression. Permanent hair dyes black slash dark brown chemical based hair dyes hair dyes that contain any or even all of these ingredients in their formulations, ammonia, peroxide bleaching agent PPDs paraphenylidio means the chemical that creates color and is widely thought to be carcinogenic lead, cool tar, toluene and resorcinol. Some of the above ingredients have been banned in some countries, but depending on your area, it's possible that brands still use the above ingredients in their hair dye formulas. Ammonia, for example, is still used in most countries whereas some PPDs in European Union have been banned. You may also avoid dyeing your hair with these types of hair dyes more than once a month, since frequency of using hair dye has been shown in some studies to play a part in increased risk of cancer development. Subscribe us to No More Hair Growth Treatments and Tips.